Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another episode of the Battle Spire. I learned something. Because this little asshole here is running around and he's not fighting me, if I go into stealth mode, which makes me walk slower, I just level up stealth. Because I was just, I, I, it was all by accident, and I was looking up what those things do. One increases my thermology skill, the other one increases my... Some other skill, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, it's not going to do it now, is it? But, like, at least three times so far it's happened where it's been like, Hey, we increased your strength, your stealth ability. I'm like, yeah, cool. Not sure what that's going to do for me, but no. What the fuck? Oh, it brings you back. That's annoying. You gotta go all the way back in. Alright, so we went that way last time, so now we're going to go this way. Alright, let's do this. Wait, is it the same one? Is this... Wait, is this the same room? No, this is not the same room. This is definitely not the same room. Okay. Thought it was the same room, but... There is a... Ooh, is it? Did that do something? Nope. There is... Oh, there's a scroll here. What have we got? Scroll. Malhan's anno... Anno... Annotated... Compendium of Arcane Contrivances of Second Age, Volume 4. Just as it is necessary for the state to prepare arms and provide abundant stores of victuals for the soldiers who are to fight for it, so it is fitting for Imperial Sabbaths to fortify themselves against the assaults of pagans and heretics with a multitude of sound writing. So all know and Malham speaks. White Finger of Lingering Death produces the casting of poison by envious fate decrees. Abide not <coughs> abide not long the lords of earth. Beneath be poisoned by it the flesh must fall. Shroud of night cast the shadow the spell of shadow. Whence out thou come? No by this m mine. That shadow is power. Now, I don't think this game actually has books, but some scrolls like this. This might be out. How long is this scroll? It's not that long, but... You know, that, that sound is annoying. Yes. It is. So I'm not going to do book readings for freaking... No. <laughs> for Battle Spy? No, no thanks. Um... When... Ah, uh, there come. No, by this mine. That shadow is power! Speaking of warning, when does the power of detect enemy? Thine enemy is known! The love of service grants the gift of lesser monster summoning. Oh. Though they be least, least answer thy call. Huh? Horn of the Head grants the gift of modest summon brute. What does that mean? Pour out liber liberations from the mingled cup. The soldiers answer. The captain's call. Badge of the Steward. Grants the gift of Summon Wise Monster. Ooh. Oh, it's summoning, right? For Pash and Arid Waste Beyond the Stars, the Wise Arc into the Clash of War. Gurudon of the Warden. Grants the gift of Grand Summon Guard. From Darkness he come. Noah of Nightmares. Grants the gift of Summon Surpassing Horror. When his horn sounds. The host shall part in fear and shame. Eyes of the arcane sight renders the power of detect spell. What works bright or dark are written bet between this world and the next. Those works you shall read as threads woven in fire. Curtain of the unseen world renders the power of invisibility. Beyond this curtain he moves, known to friend and foe. Beckon of the Adverted Eye renders the power of Chameleon. The Stalker is lost in the blend of light and shadow, colour and texture. Arms of Feathered Grace renders the power of Slowfall. He falls, but with grace and keen eye, like the raptor upon the pay. So, I know what that is. So, every time I, I find an item and it's got an enchantment and I don't know what the fuck it does, I look it up on the wiki, and the wiki did tell me that, yeah, Scrolls like this one, which do I really need? I'm not going to take it, there's no point. Um, 
basically tell you what all the different things do. So, but I'm just gonna look at the wiki thing. Rather that than like, you have to find them all and then make your own little compendium about what each thing does. Or I could just use the wiki. Hello. What is this? I'll take that. Fuck me! Do I need the password anymore? Nah. Give me that. I don't want it does by then. Oh no, it's one of these guys. Fuck. Oh no, I'm gonna fight you, dude. No thank you. Ow. Fuck. No thank you, not today. No, we're not interested. No, we're not interested. No thank you. No. No, not today. Sorry, no, sorry, bye. No, I've gotta go, bye, okay. There's really no point in killing them, is there? Well, you can level up your destruction magic. That is true. Doesn't just straight up casting the spell do that? I forgot, I don't know how it works in this game. We did that one, we did that one, we did, and now we're going to this one. This. Oh god, how many are there? It's five total. Okay. Is one of these going to have a demo in it? Possibly. What is that? Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, hello. Is, it, is there a fucking thing in the ceiling? What the fuck? Can I can I get up there? <laughs> what the fuck? That's oh, just a turn. We got here. That's a big ass sword. Sure is. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Steel gauntlets of sanguine hewing. And silver claymore. And a stick. Sanguine shoeing. I'm currently not wearing gauntlets. Wait, why am I not wearing gauntlets? Because I took them off. Yeah. Do I know what sanguine hewing does? Well, I would like to. Do I just look right now? Yeah, sorry, whatever. I got the, I got the thing right here. Just look up H. Shoeing. Shoeing. Chris's long blade skill. Fucking useless. Although, that sword and... Was that sword good? Ah, oh, good. That sword's pretty good. If you were a melee character, that'd be pretty good. But, uh, I'm not, so it's not good. That's the end of that story. Well, there even, is there even an enemy in here? I feel like there's no enemies in here. Oh, hello. What are you? Okay. Do I have cure poison? I have cure health. That's not what I asked. Let's try it slow. I have shield. I never use it. That's because why would I? I need all my mana for fucking goddamn do damage spell. Ooh, a short leap. Hey, baby. What? That that'll be jumping for sure. Well, no kidding. And that's also really good ammo. It's also silver, so you can't use it. Oh. And yeah, there's no one in here. Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. I can't believe I've got to do this every single time. So annoying. Why can't I just bring you back here? I don't know. Alright, so we did. Oof, that one, that one, that one, and then the next is this one. Okay, and then there's the final one. Okay, who we got here? Oh god, it's one of these guys! Get out of my way! Dude, get out of my way! Fuck all. Uh, fleetness? Probably makes you go faster. Even booty boots. Steel boots! Hello! What do we got now? We got steel sandals. And. Okay. Oh! Fuck! No. Uh, oh, 
that was a. I mean, that was oh oh, oh that was a big boy crash. That was not just a, that was not your one of the real crash crash. That was a big boy crash. Fuck! I'm gonna have to do all that again, aren't I? Yeah. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll do all that shit, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm back. All right, so I cleared out that room, except for the the boots. There wasn't really anything, so I got the boots on now. Not pretty snazzy. And I took, the, I decided to take the potion of cure poison. Also, that gem, you know that gem that we found. You know what it does? It reduces. Well, it, it didn't seem to do anything in the game, but the description of it on the wiki says that it reduces the wearer's spell points by two thirds. So it makes me not have as many skill points? Fuck that noise. Maybe it actually... Maybe it actually reduces the cost of using spells. Now, I'll look at that later. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. Okay, so this is the last of the anchors. That's already on, so... That's fine. I can just stay there. Did I just see something? I thought I just saw something. Like a red button or something. Alright, there's an asshole back there. Good for him. Yeah, those those no face bastards, they're, they're the ones I hate the most. I'd much, much rather fight. Ooh, hello. Hey, I'll take that. Yep. Ooh, looking snazzy, girl. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know when, when that happened. <laughs> what we got here? Oh, I, oh, I need that. Okay, fuck off with your version. I need that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, sweet. Oh, does that mean it doesn't use up weight? <gasps> Are you serious? You can stack the same item and it doesn't use up weight? That's fucking amazing! You can stack the restoration potions! Holy fuck! So as long as you've got one, you can have one or a hundred, it doesn't... That's unbelievable. Ah, uh, here's another one of these guys. Do we have time to read this? Uh, depends how long it is. Ah, uh, fuck it, let's do it. Uh, Codex Arcania, Volume 3, Students and Scholar, attend your, attend our abjurations, showing during prosperity in the custody of books. Huh. We do not only, we not only render service to the Emperor in preparing volumes of new books, but also exercise an office of sacred piety. When we treat books carefully, and again, when we restore them to their proper places and commend them to the invulnerable custody, that they may rejoice in purity while we have them in our hands and rest securely when they are stored in their repositories. And surely, next to the vestments and engines dedicated to the Emperor's glory, arcade books deserve to be rightly treated by the battle mage to which. Great injury is done so often as they are touched by unclean hands. Wherefore we deem it expedient to warn our students against various negligences, such as might be easily avoided and which do wonderful harm to books. Being a continuance of a partial index of arcane contrivances known to the scholars and alchemists, uh, alchemists of Battlespire, that these contrivances might more readily be known to all students and neither abused nor neglected nor wasted in their employment. Knight of the Grand Vigil produces the casting of Major Shield. Lot of Fate produces the casting of medium continuous damage to the victim. Made of Rhyme casts a spell of medium frost damage. Mote of Cleansing Fire produces the casting of major fire damage range. Plume of Bale, Baleful Woe, that is the power of minor magic damage. Prayer of Flesh Fire, casts a spell of medium poison damage range. 
Principle of the Broad Force renders the power of medium shock damage. Ribs of the Manor Wharf reduces the casting of resistance to magic. Root of the Hero renders the power of medium cure health. Rose of Weird Bane reduces the casting of medium major ma the medium magic damage. Seal of the Grand Force casts the spell of major shock damage range. You know what I just realized? We've only been using, like, fire-based spells. We, we should try some of the other stuff. Yeah. Seed of Healing. Just the castles of minor cure health. She Shells of Mage Rack. Cast the spell of major magic damage range. Okay. How many more have we got? Oh, only a couple more. Okay. We are over time, but it's fine. Shimmer of the Frosty Ward. Just the casting of resistance to frost. Sifting of Stain. Just the casting of minor poison damage range. Skine of Convulsion. And it's the power of confusion. Skins of the Poison Ward. Cast a spell of resistance to poison. Sil sliver of Skin Chill. I'm immune to poison, aren't I? Yes, you are. This is the casting of minor frost damage range. Sweet Pit of, of Secrets. When is the power of minor delayed damage. Swirl of the Bright Well. When is the power of spell absorption. Wow, that was wonderful. Where am I? I'm in this room. I'm in this wing of the room, okay. Now, I realise that actually, I think I named... I think I was naming my saves. Yeah, these ones were like 18, but that should have been 19. Because we're actually in 20 now, I believe. But, you know, it's only here to Damn it, I really should reconfigure the key so that I can use the numpad. I much prefer using the numpad, but... Anyway, when we come back, we're going to explore the rest of this room. And try to get the fuck out of level 1. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.